and the government announced a plan to expand access to testing to more families. The plan is designed around minimizing the disruption to a child and maximizing the safety of our schools. Uh, we're very proud that too many children are in schools every day, learning in a safe environment with improved air ventilation and with strong precautions in place. But we also want to make sure that as we look to the winter and as children learn indoors, people go indoors more, we are planning ahead and making life a bit easier for parents who have uh, really borne so much of the challenges of the pandemic. So to do that, I'm proud that Ontario will be the only province in the country to extend access to take-home PCR tests for symptomatic students and for high contact asymptomatic students and staff. That's literally a take-home kit in the school. Your child has symptoms on the way out, they pick up a kit, bring it home, conduct, do the test at home, it takes a few minutes, it's easy to do, it's not invasive, it can't be <clears throat> saliva-based or a lower nasal swab, so it does not in any way hurt. And it provides the results usually within about 24 hours. Um, quicker result time, reduce the amount of time the family's at home and your child is out of school learning. Uh, so we're proud to do that in addition to launching what's called the Test to Stay program, which is a rapid antigen test that are deployed to schools to keep them safe, keep them open, when otherwise some of these schools would have closed because of some cases in some of the classrooms. It's a, work, it's a program where you test every other day for two weeks and it helps to reduce risk and keep the schools open, which is so important. And for, our, for the few unvaccinated staff, the minority within our schools, we are increasing the requirements on them to go from two negative tests a week to now three. Starting November 10th, this will be another step in the right direction to keep schools safe and to help ensure that our kids continue to learn indoors in our schools. So we've uh, taken great action in this respect. We are grateful to the partnership with public health Chief Medical Officer of Health, Sick Kids, who you will know, the CEO of Sick Kids, Dr. Ronald Kahn, was with me last week for this announcement to uh, support it and to provide his endorsement, given that Sick Kids, uh, CHEO, and other school, other hospitals have already been providing the take home tests with great success in Toronto and Ottawa. So we're grateful for their partnership and their support. Uh, and look, I mean, we now have one of the highest vaccine rates for young people in Canada. And we have one of the lowest cases for young people in Canada. And that's because we followed the best advice of leaders in our country and medical expertise, including uh, the Chief Medical Officer. So we're going to continue to do that, step up the protocol, work towards making life easier for families, improve the learning experience for children, uh, and the mental health of everyone involved. So Shannon, that's, uh, that's the intro for me, and I hope to dive into some of these questions. Hello, Minister Lecce, and thank you for this opportunity. So uh, my question is, if besides this increased uh, testing strategy that you just announced, will there be any campaign to encourage uh, vaccination among uh, students and school staff that refuse to vaccinate? We are going to continue to vigorously encourage everyone available to get the vaccine. It is safe, it is effective, it reduces risk the best way we can put this pandemic behind us. We're very proud that in this province we have one of the highest youth vaccine rates in Canada. Uh, I think what it underscores is that our promotion of the vaccine as well as our access to the vaccine through, three, through 650 uh, clinics has been a very effective uh, intervention and it's really helped to make sure that the vaccine is accessible to more people than ever before. Uh, and I just want to remind everyone that, you know, as of today, uh, we now have 88.6% um, of children 12 to 17 have, um, pardon me, 83.9% of children 12 to 17 have at least one dose. And 78.5% of children 12 to 17 have two doses. We're almost at 80% double vaccinated for high school children. We're making great progress, and to your point, we want to continue to increase that number uh, and decrease the cases in our community, which is why our advertising and promotions for the vaccine will be important. I also should mention Sick Kids, who is a partner of ours, put out a hotline to parents where they can access medical, 
medical response to a lot of the questions parents are asking about about the safety of the vaccine, they now could turn to a leading global pediatric hospital for access to information that will help them uh, make the right decision for their child. Okay, thank you very much.